Hey, good morning. Well, I guess it's afternoon. So, I just wanted you all to know that not all my videos have to be drunk and, you know, blah, 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 blah. but I mean all those things I say, and I'm right about all of them. I mean, sex sells, and I need subscribers, so... Yeah, I'm 40. I'm 10 months on hormones. These are real genetics. <laughs> um, yeah, so if sex sells, I need the subscribers. Please subscribe, like. I talk about everything from politics to how to cook, how to love, how to laugh. I try to be as funny as possible. Some of my favorite TikToks are on here. Follow me on TikTok, too. It's Burt Douglas, male to female. M, the number two, F. Burt Douglas. M, two, F. Okay, anyway. Or Burt Douglas Eppert on Facebook, YouTube, whatever. Just find me. Because my whole goal in life is just to make you laugh. So, it's what we're missing. It's what we're missing. Donald Trump. Mm-mm. We're not even going to go there because then you guys are going to unsub... I can't even talk. You guys will unsubscribe and I don't want that. So, I just wanted to show you guys that I can be as beautiful as any other woman. I can be... Um... As sexy. But I can also be as drunk and ugly as I want. Doesn't matter. I'm 40. I can do what I want as long as I'm not breaking the law. And I pay my taxes unlike your president. Um, I waited 40 years to transition. I look just like my mom. Um, you can definitely tell I got some hurt in me. So anyway, I just need some subscribers, so I thought I'd make a new kind of video. One maybe where I put a little makeup on and try to take care of myself a little better. You guys would see that, um, up here, up here. You guys would see that I'm just a regular girl. I was in a boy's body. You know, I watched a show the other day and it kind of explained what how the brain of a just go, um, go on YouTube and look up the brain of a transgender person. It's, it's real. It's fascinating. It's all about XXYY chromosomes, and that's too much science for me. But I can explain what they said that did make sense to me. Maybe it'll make some sense to you, especially even if you're transgender and you're just wondering why. So apparently, a woman because I don't know, I didn't get ovaries like you women because I wasn't blessed. That is a blessing from God. Don't use misuse them. Okay, anyway, that being said, um, I guess a woman has three trimesters in her pregnancy, and in the second trimester, your brain starts forming, and normally your testicles would drop at that time, so your brain would form male. Well, for some reason, for transgender women, and this is just a study on women, sorry guys, but you guys are lucky. You transgender men are handsome, and you just take a little couple shots, and your voice sounds like a man. You grow facial hair, you're like a man. Your butt sexy. Ugh. Our our hormones don't change our voice. We got we got to get test puberty ruined my voice. But you know how many women you know that can sing any George Strait or or Colin Ray or Kid Rock song on key like an angel. I love my voice. And I got all kinds of other talents, like I can cook, I can clean. I'm on home. I have a beautiful dog that I love. I have a very, very small circle because I don't trust anyone. Every time I do, I get hurt. And a good person gets tired of being broke down, so I just lock that door over there. I keep that thing locked and I don't let no one in. I just don't. My neighbor across the hall, sweetest Christian woman, at first she was uncomfortable with me now we're friends because she got to know me I've been in a men's prison in a, in a prison 
for dealing drugs. Yeah, I'm not a drug dealer. Do I look like a drug dealer? No. Somebody harassed me to sell them some of my suboxins that the hospital shouldn't have gave me to begin with, but they weren't looking at the fouls. And that's the devil. The devil played a part there and I played just as long. I take my part in it. Six to 20 years, they told me. And he, he did all that just to get out of a D felony, uh, marijuana dealing. What a fucking pussy. But you know, I found out in prison who I was. Not because I got in there and got all ghetto on my mama. No, that's not who I am. I got classier, smarter, more confident. I didn't ask for your approval. I demanded it. And over a thousand men on that camp gave it. They called me she, her, trapped me with total respect. I got haircuts whenever I wanted, fresh fades, all the drugs. We had drugs galore as high every day. I didn't have to pay for it. And you would think, oh, well, yeah, look at her. She's sucking dick. First of all, I was a man and I was a handsome one, so I didn't look like this. Second of all, I have been incarcerated a few more times than I'd like to admit, probably about 60. Yeah, you heard that right. 60. And I only got three felonies from two different nights. Not too bad. Not for being a blackout drunk. Now let's get to the deeper root. I was trying to black out because I hated my life. Or anytime someone that was handsome and... Uh, um, I want to say... Ma oh, okay. Handsome and masculine enough to... For me... They appear straight because I'm not attracted to gay men because I'm not a gay man. Like you guys told me I was my whole life. You never gave me the option like Jazz Jennings. Jazz, you're an inspiration. I love you, girl. I love you. You're just amazing. Don't take it to your head, though. Please don't take it to your head. Just keep doing the right thing. Go with your heart. Keep spreading love because there's enough hate and COVID out there killing us and ripping us apart here. But I, I love you, I just, I'm so inspired by you. And, and you've helped the kids. No, don't let your girls go through boy puberty. If they tell you they're girls, do not put them through that. I'm lucky that I'm, I'm only 10 months on hormones. My transition's just beginning. I hope to God. I mean, but you know, my doctor called me on my birthday, my 40th birthday, which was uh, last month. I know, I know. I look here at Shh, stop. But anyway, my levels are female. Completely, 100% female. I'm a woman, if you test my blood. I'm biologically a woman. That takes a long time to happen and a lot of blood work. It took me exactly nine months. Same amount of time as it takes to make a baby. I hate to be born at 40 years old, but baby, I'm born and I'm here. I can't wait for you to start your transition. I'm glad that Medicaid and Medicare and those insurance companies are paying for it now because they realize we need it. No, just let that crazy person kill themselves isn't the answer. Let them transition and be a member of society. Look at me. Good God. I'm so happy. If you don't think that this is who I'm supposed to be, Instead of that miserable blackout drunk, I don't know what to tell you. And if you're scared to transition, you're going to tell you, I promise, these are the number one things. First of all, you got to accept to yourself you are transgender, as crazy as it sounds. That's hard right there. Then you got to be ready to accept the fact that you may lose your family. I did it. Not one. Not one. And I have a brother, the oldest, mm -mm, you know, gang member. I mean, all of his friends are hood. And I'll tell you what, he'll take me out to dinner with every one of them and be proud to sit next to me. He still calls me his brother. It is what it is. I am his brother. But at least I look and feel beautiful. And that's all I ever wanted. And, and I, I get hit up a lot. More this year than I ever have in my whole 40 years on earth. By men that want to sleep with me. I have never got a text from anyone that wanted to be my friend. It's not easy being transgender. It's not fun. It's scary. It's uncomfortable. You're always, always wondering what people think. 
And I know they say, oh, who cares what other people think is none of your fucking business. I know all that. I've done a million AA meetings. I've lived in recovery homes. I've been to jails and institutions. I told you I was an alcoholic. But one thing I don't do anymore is I don't black out drunk. I don't let that mean, angry, angry person out. But he, and I say he because he is a he, he is angry. He's angry that he was born in the wrong body. That you guys were so mean to him as a kid because you asked him why he talked like a girl, why he walked like a girl, why he preferred to hang with the girls, why he was uncomfortable to talk to boys because he thought they were cute. Kindergarten, second, third grade, that's uncomfortable but cute. It never, I've always been a girl. But I ended up being a good looking guy and I thought that's the only thing I had going for me is to, lo- to use my looks. I'm sorry, that thing just isn't me. Just to use my looks. And, that's, and I thought that would get me by as a guy and it did in my 20s. I used to go to the gay bars and take a guy home every night. I do not have HIV, no, don't. that's terrible you even thought that. I'm, I think, honestly, I'm one of those people that can't get that. Well, now I'm on prep, so of course I can't get it. But anyway, that's not worth. That's not what this video is about. That's my ADD for you. I hope whatever I've said has made any sense or helped you get to know me a little bit. I just won't be happy. I just won't make you laugh. I just want to spread love. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not ashamed of it either. I hope that you share this video, I hope that you subscribe, and I hope that you like. Because I've got lots of love to share. Me and my dog Riley, I want him to be on my channel too. Everybody needs to know Riley. Riley! Riley, come see mommy. Riley! Riley! Baby, what took you so long? Was you napping? Look, you might be. That's my Riley. Can you look at him? Hi, Riley. I got a video on there about how skinny he is, and I'm trying a new crock pot meal every morning. I cook for him now and mix it with his food. And he ate half of it, and then he'll turn around and eat the other half tonight, and then tomorrow I'll do it all over again. But you watch my videos. There's some good ones. I'm getting ready to do one about how to pass a pee test, and I promise it works. Promise. I promise. I can't say how I know. But I promise it works. And I was smoking. Oh, girl. The person I'm talking about, she. <laughs> she well, let's just say he. he. Let's say he at that time. He was smoking a lot because they never drug tested him. And I said to him, well, you might as well smoke weed. They don't test you. Probably because you're on all those damn pills you fail for anyway. So I start smoking weed. Because this spice is bad for you. That spice shit. Yes, yes, it does. It's a good high. It's a good high, I know it is, but it is fucking dangerous. And let me tell you, I got so hooked on it in prison, I'd watch a guy sit and take a hit and fall off his bunk, and I'd say, where'd he get it? <laughs> where'd he get it? I want some of that. It never did that to me, though. I've never had that kind of experience with it. But I still don't know what it's made of, and neither do you. And, and now that it's being made in homes instead of gas stations selling it, um... Even then, we didn't know what was in them. They kept having to change the recipes so they could sell it. Or ingredients or whatever. Oh, I got a lot of blush on. But anyway, I'm going to go outside. This is my patio. This is my pride. All my flowers died. If you guys remember this summer, how pretty they were. They'll come back. They'll come back. Well, anyway, I've taken enough of your time. Thank you for hanging out with me for a while. I needed a friend. And I just wanted to show you guys that even old women can be pretty. Bye. Stay COVID free and wear a mask, please. It's, it's not just for you. Don't be so selfish. Bye.